Hi, everyone. My name is Sonia Trevino. I am in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas. And um, I'm going to, I'm looking at the questions here. I'm totally unprepared. Uh, but uh, wow, life changer. I was, uh, I am a product of welfare. My mama was extremely poor, but I have taken um, that and it has uh, kept me humble. I remember every single day where I come from. And that's a good thing. I embrace that. In fact, I'm very proud of the little nickname I give myself, which is Fadio Girl, uh, which basically means I'm a girl from the ghetto. And um, I discovered <laughs> discovered Steno. It's a funny story. The the most popular girl in my in my junior high. It was called junior high back then. Junior high class. She sat right in front of me. She had this long. She's a pretty girl. She had this long, beautiful hair, and, and we're still friends. But I was fling that hair back and slap me with it. But um, she mentioned that she was going to be a court reporter, and so I thought, well, what's that? And so she told me about it. But hey, so you know, the most popular girl in school is going to be a court reporter. Well, I'm going to be a court reporter, and uh, she did not become a court reporter. I did. I became a court reporter February 17, 1983. Yes, year 41 is coming up. And um, I uh, I was poor. I was really, really poor. And like I said, I embraced that. And I used it as fuel to keep me motivated, to keep me determined. I wanted better for me. And then eventually when I became a mom, I wanted better for my son. And I am one of those people who gets to say, my son, the lawyer. Uh, so yes, uh, he's 38. He's been practicing for, um, gosh, going on year 13. And I guess the best part of my career has been the fact that I was able to uh, give my son the education that he wanted. It, Came as a surprise to me. He was getting ready to um, graduate with his undergrad, and I saw financial freedom for me. And then he said, "Oh, by the way, Mom, I want to become an attorney." And my response to him was, "Okay." And he said, "Well, but how are we going to pay for it?" And I said, "I don't know. The good Lord is going to help me." And we're going to, we're going to get you. We're going to get you. Uh, very fortunate that my mom got to uh, hold the family Bible when he was sworn in alongside, uh, alongside me. Um, I lost her 11 years ago, but boy, she taught me how to be a survivor. And uh, sure does come in handy when you're a court reporter because Every once in a while, you know, I have to remind myself murder is still against the law in Texas because sometimes you have those days where you just really want to not be nice to someone. Um, I continue to mentor. Um, the oldest person I, or the reporter I first mentored is now entering her 37th year. And the youngest I mentored is now uh, entering her third year. And I have nine students under me right now. Um, so that's what I do. And the, fi the finale of this very long short speech is December 31, 2024. I'm retiring. Thank you.